Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about how to reverse an array. So you might be thinking that reversing an array is very simple, right? You can just iterate from the end and save it into another array and you would be just getting the reverse. For example, you are given an input as 10, 5, 7, 30. If you are supposed forming another array and you are iterating from the end, that is from 30, 7, 5, 10 and you are adding it into the uh, second array, then uh, it would be a simple problem. You can do it in order of n. But in this problem, we would be discussing how to reverse an array in place. So we would be doing in place reverse. So what does in place reverse means that we would be reversing this particular array only in place means without uh, creating another array or without taking any auxiliary uh, another uh, help of an another array or consuming other auxiliary spaces we would be trying to reverse this particular array in itself only so what would be the particular algorithm so uh, as you can see in the array uh, you can see that the last position swapped themselves okay then the second last position swap themselves so if i swap 10 with 30 i would be getting 30 and 10 so i would be getting the uh, end elements of the reverse array then if i reduce both of them and if i, if I come to the inner sub array i would be getting 5 and 7 as the endpoints if i swap them again i would then the result i would be getting would be 37 5 and 10 so uh, let me just write a pseudo code for it. So let the function be void reverse and we would be taking in an array as an input. So it would be int r and as well as we would be providing the size of the array. Okay. So this is the size of the array that is n. So we would have to start from this particular index and this particular index that is this would be suppose low and this would be high so low would be equal to 0 and high would be n minus 1 so low would be equal to 0 and high would be n minus 1 now we would have to iterate till low is less than high so uh, I would be going to uh, to here where low is still less than high and in the next iteration if low comes here uh, so in the uh, last iteration if high would be here and in the next iteration if low comes here the high would be here so automatically I would be getting that low is greater than high so we would be uh, and there would be no need of swapping again because if we continue even after that we would be getting back our original array again so there would be a condition that while low is less than high we would have to swap between the array of low and array of high so we would be swapping array of low and array of i high so after swapping we must increase the low by one so in order to get into the sub inner sub array we must increase the low by one so low would be increased by one and high would be de decreased by one and once this particular uh, operation completes we would be getting the reverse so let me just show you what is happening here let's just take our first example let me remove this for the time sake so initially for the first iteration uh, before the first iteration our uh, array is 10 5 7 30 and this is my low and this is my high right so high is n minus 1 and low is 0. So when in the first iteration, these two values would be swapped. That is low and high. And this would become 30, 5, 
7 and 10 and then this would become my low and this would become my high then uh, in the next iteration I would swap it again so it would be 30 7 5 10 and then this would become my low and this would become my high so when this becomes as you can see the value of low is equal to 2 and the value of high is equal to 1 based on zero base indexing so as you can see that low is not less than high so this will not enter this particular loop and it will exit and this we would be getting this particular array as our result so 30 7 5 10 is our desired output which is equal to the reverse of an array so this is how reverse of an array would work for an even sized array okay so now let's try for an odd sized array so let me remove this particular section here and let's take example of an odd sized array so we had seen that we had uh, the code the algorithm that we had written was working for an odd si uh, even sized array now for an odd sized array let's take uh, the array of size an array of size 3 so let my input be an array of size 3 that is 30 20 and 5 and the output would be 5 20 30 right so let me just dry down our particular code so before uh, entering into the loop we have our array as 30 20 and 5 and this would be my low and this would be my high so once we have entered the loop then I would be first swapping so 5 20 30 and this would be my low and as well as this would be my high since high in this case was equal to 2 low was equal to 0 I would increase it by 1 so it would be becoming 1 and I would decrease it by 1 so it would be becoming 1 as well so as you can see that in this case low becomes equal to high which does not satisfy this particular condition again so it exits the particular loop and we would be getting this as our output and 5 20 30 is also equal to our desired output is also equal to our desired output so we have successfully reversed an array which is even or uh, which is of odd size so let's just go to our pie charm and let's start coding for this particular solution so let's create a method as reverse and which takes in two inputs that is a list and the size of the list that is n okay now uh, we would be taking two values that is low and high so initialize low with 0 and high with n minus 1 high refers to the last element of the array or the list in this case and low refers to the first element of the list uh, in case of python we would be implementing the concepts of array using list okay so while low is less than high we would be swapping the values so uh, so while low is less than high we would be swapping the values so let me just use a third variable for swapping so temp is equal to r of low r of high would be equal to r of low and r of uh, I did a mistake here so it would be r of low is equal to r of high because I am saving the value of low in a temp variable so I would be assigning it in the last so r of high would be equal to temp which is equal to the uh, value present in the low index 
so it would be equal to temp and along with that we will have to in, uh, increase our low by 1 so low plus equal to 1 and high minus equal I have to decrease my high by 1 that is high minus equal to 1 and we would be returning our array so as you can see that in this problem we have reversed this particular array in place let me just take an array for an example let's take 10 5 uh, 7 30 10 5 7 30 and let's just print its reverse print we have to print the reverse of add and we have to provide the length of the add as a parameter also let's just run the code so we are getting 37 5 10 as our output which is equal to the uh, reverse of the particular array so thanks for watching this video guys i hope so you understood how to particularly uh, in place reverse a particular array without creating an external temporary array see you in the next one